happy Saturday afternoon and welcome to my little world. I'm Katie and I'm here today with Charlie, my fur baby, and my latest obsession, my newest addition, um, my Danielle. And I, I know I apologize in advance. I know I should be bringing more babies on camera and kind of like rotate them, but I just, I had a super busy week and I, I uh, really was looking forward to weekend so I could interact with him. Huh. So yeah, uh, here's another video, but I have to say, this is a nice light. You actually, actually I apologize for these little, like, uh, see the sun is still shining. It's about four o'clock and the sun will be setting down soon. But I think that you can um, have a nice view of his face and of his details on a face. And he's such a little delicate boy. I changed him two days ago, didn't make a video and I didn't even have the time for some extensive photo shoot, <clears throat> but I want to change him again I, while chatting with you. And I have Charlie here. We had a little bit eventful week. I may be talking about it next week. Um, with my baby, I was Charlie. So yeah, let me show the outfit. Um, I changed him two days ago, but I want to put these soft knit overalls on him. I got them especially for him. And I had a different top in mind, ladies and gents, but I feel like I don't want anything bulky underneath. I don't want to be like too huge and too busy. So I'll just put this simple onesie underneath. <clears throat> and I will decide if I'll go with booties or uh, socks. Okay, ladies and gents. So today's little topic that I'm going to discuss is how important is COA to you as a collector? And for all new collectors, COA means Certificate of Authenticity. I'm going to show you Danielle's. This is how it looks. He is a Sam by Gudrun Legler. Sculpt Gudrun Legler is a German sculptor, uh, so automatically um, his COA is in German. And uh, since he is the first uh, edition, a limited edition, uh, it shows you uh, the numbers here. So this is his uh, number of his blank kit that was used to make this baby. So he's number 254 out of 1234 kits in that edition. And on the other side, usually most COAs, they bear the pictures of uh, prototypes, one or more, depends on its sculptor and its sculpt. So this is his COA. And it's a part of the process. When you're buying a baby, usually you want your COA as a collector. Not everyone, I do. I do because I think that COA is valuable. It proves that the baby is not a counterfeit, uh, was not made from counterfeit sculpt. In a lot of instances, uh, a lot of people, many times we don't worry because the uh, certain kids have not been reproduced into uh, fake. So that's not even the question sometimes. It's just kind of like a uh, way, you know, the, well, a lot of people are buying these as collectibles not a uh, collectible pieces of art. So, and collectibles, um, they should have some kind of COA. So I'm just going to um, go more into the details of this. Why am I talking about this? I have been, as you know, an admin in um, Lorelei Eagle's official group and there was this post last week. The lady came and she basically told this story. She found this baby online uh, she fell in love with the doll. It was a beautiful baby and everything, but the seller could not find COA. Therefore, the seller offered the doll to her for a discounted price. And she agreed because she said she was on limited budget and she liked the price. It was really a good price for a nice doll. Uh, and the seller agreed to a payment plan. I don't know how long the payment plan itself was, but by the time she paid off the doll, uh, the seller found the COA, but now, mind you, the lady paid a discounted price 
and Solar told her that she will not ship COA with the baby. She found the COA, she informed her that the, she found COA, but she will not ship because the lady paid the price without. She discounted the doll because of the fact that she could not originally find this COA. And now buyer, I uh, I felt like buyer was questioning, um, was this okay? Should now this seller send the COA since she found it, uh, even if she paid the lower price? Uh, seller, there was later on, uh, she disclosed the information that seller offered her COA for $25 or, or pounds, I think it was pounds, it was from UK, this lady. But she offered to include the COA, but she was asking for additional 25 uh, pounds. And the lady absolutely said she refused. And people asked her, would you, are you, maybe, are you going to pay this? Is it worth it to you? And she said, no, she was not going to pay additional 25 pounds, like UK pounds, because she didn't care, but she was upset. She kind of felt that seller should not even put her into this position that she, seller should ship this doll with COA, uh, without asking additional, even though she didn't pay, she she got a good discount and plus she, uh, she used a layaway plan. It wasn't, you know, like she paid for the doll immediately. It took some time for her to pay the doll off. So, you know, for many sellers layaway, it's not automatic. I feel, because this lady was really, now I don't wanna stop, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not, saying it was a good situation or which side I am on. I'm just bringing you the story because I want you, I want to read your responses. I want you to uh, kind of like ponder this and let me know what is your, where you stand on this. First thing that I would kind of like talk here about it's, uh, yeah, if you have a seller that's willing to work with you and who's offering you a long layaway or longer layaway, I think it's a, something that uh, a buyer should take into consideration. Not everybody ta takes long layaways, especially on the dolls that are in certain price range. Yeah, if you have a doll for $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, because let's, let's be honest, there are dolls e that are even auctioned on eBay, the mainly prototypes that, I'm talking about Reborns purely ladies here that are sold for a huge amount of money. And yeah, a lot of these artists, they do accept layaway of different length, of course, but they do. But if you're buying a doll, let's say for $300 or UK pounds or even 500 and you take a long time to pay it off, um, I would say it's nice to find a seller that would even be willing to wait for the money for months and months and months uh, for you to pay it off. <sighs> Is it okay then to, uh, even when you, as a seller, when you find certificate of authenticity, is it okay to message your buyer and say, yeah, I found it, but I'm not sending it with a doll <clears throat> because you paid this discount. I have been waiting for my money. Uh, you took your time, plus you got the discounted price. I'm going to tell you where I stand on this from the position as of a seller and collector. I do value my COAs. I keep my paperwork immaculate. When I get a baby, uh, COA and all the paperwork is the part of the deal. Box opening, no, I don't care. I like nice box opening, of course. I absolutely appreciate a beautiful presentation, but it's not necessary. What I expect is the baby and COA. This piece of paper <clears throat> and a birth birth certificate. In some some artists, they send even the birth certificate, a business card, and that kind of thing. But to me, this is a very very important part because I'm that type of a collector that um, yeah, I keep my dolls. I would say uh, for a long time or long, longer, longish time, but I do sell my dolls. Not all of them, and uh, it's you know it takes different uh, periods of times um, for each doll. But yeah, I do circulate my dolls, and I do sell sometimes. And when I sell, I want the doll to have like all of their paperwork 
complete. Not uh, not lost paperwork, not like wonky, destroyed, uh, COS, that kind of stuff. So to me, it's valuable. If I was the buyer, I wouldn't even ponder. Uh, I would just pay 25 uh, pounds or dollars or whatever. I would pay the seller. I would say, yeah, I'm going to pay you extra money and I, because I want the COA. It's, it's nice. And I, I, it's important to me. Uh, obviously, this buyer, she didn't care at the first place when seller told her that uh, COA was displaced, so she's not going to pay that kind of money. Now, as a seller, people were kind of like, um, they were discussing, what would you do as a seller? I am a proud seller when they say, oh, and when I say it, I mean it, if I found COA, I would send it with the doll because to me, I think COA belongs with the doll. There is no question about it. Uh, some people were pondering what is happening to these COAs. Why would she even need COA without the doll? And I will tell you what, what or why. I have seen COA being sold apart from kids on eBay. Especially limited editions or older sculpts. A lot of people display the paperwork. And is it okay or is it wrong? Well, I will tell you something. I had a friend. It didn't happen to me because I always got the doll with paperwork. And I never displaced it. But I know that a friend, she got this beautiful doll. It was way before the fakes were done. From the sculptor that it's not... Uh, her th That kid was never copied. Okay, ladies. And it was like years ago. Uh, she got this baby and... The artist, and that was artists that sent the COA. They didn't send COA. It, it, was, it was not even as, uh, it, it was coming directly from uh, the artist. And they displayed the COA and we heard about instances like this, which is quite weird. It doesn't make sense to me. Why would a professional artist not send COA? Or are they, why would they have, okay, I, what's going on with those? Like, why are you not organized enough to keep COAs with your blankets? But that's okay. That's not the point of this video. Anyways, my friend, she got the doll and it was a, it was not a fake doll. It was a good quality doll. It came without COA. And then uh, <clears throat> she had the doll for a couple of years and she wanted to sell it, not because there was something wrong with the doll or she had any doubt. She just felt like, okay, it's time. This was a rare sold out kit, ladies. And she felt, okay, uh, I want this doll to have a COA. And she purchased another COA from the seller on eBay. It was from another kid. I don't know what happened to that blanket. Now, we can ponder here only. Sometimes it ha what happens, artists, they are, they burn the kit or, uh, you know, uh, your oven goes funky. And I've seen the, the dolls that were kind of like messed up and destroyed, not only because the fault was on artist side, but sometimes your new oven goes crazy and it melts part of the head. So therefore the artist they can't use one part like a limp or a head so they proceed and they sell the limps and they sell COA separately and my friend they got COA for her for the rare kit and they were able you know uh, they they got it so they would have kind of like a complete set some people they may say okay is this okay is this not okay thanks goodness I was never put into position like this um that I would have to purchase a separate COA because all of my dolls in all these years came with COAs and I have never lost a COA. So I was never forced to go and buy. But it is, uh, it happens, ladies. And not all the time there is something shady behind it. So, sometimes artists just, you know, something happens to the doll uh, during... Uh, the painting and baking, and there have all these COAs. So they they sell them, you know, to people who maybe displace the COA. Um, sometimes people buy these COAs because they can't find the COAs, original COAs. And they know that their doll is not fake or anything. They're not even going to sell the doll. They just want to have uh, COA. So 
I just feel to me I I didn't participate in this discussion. <clears throat> uh, I just keep my eye on the peaceful uh, way when ladies are discussing. But uh, I personally, what I would do in this case, I would uh, as a seller, I would just I I would not probably charge my buyer. I would just tell her, look, I found the COA. It was my fault. I couldn't locate it. I charged you this price. I accept you accepted it. You paid it off. So I'm going. I'm just going to send the COA. But I can't blame seller for kind of like say okay, saying yes. So now you're going to get uh, the full deal with COA. So you know what? If you want the baby, please can you cover this price because I'm sending the COA. Whatever. Uh, to me as a buyer. If I look at it from the opposite side as a buyer, to me, I would pay it because to me, COA is very, very important. So yeah, plus, you know, it's a doll COA. It belongs with a doll. I don't understand why why anyone would uh, separate the doll for 25 bucks or pounds, but that's just me as a collector. I know that a lot of people, they, they don't mind and they don't care about collecting part of the hobby. They just want to have a baby to cuddle, you know, I would say if anyone asked me for my opinion as a collector to every new collector, I would just say if you can get a baby with COA because you don't know how you're going to feel in a year or two. I started this hobby thinking I would just get two dolls, three dolls, okay? And I thought I could not even imagine selling these babies i thought how can uh how is is it easy like how do they sell these babies i mean they're babies uh okay i don't know if i could sell it i would probably not sell it and then you you start learning and you start getting deeper and deeper and you see how things work and you sometimes i even find the things that i thought as ridiculous you know how uh what i was thinking so you know your opinion changes, your views, your uh, uh, the amount of information that is out there. <clears throat> also, five years ago, there weren't there were like a, a lot. I wouldn't say a lot reward channels, but I will tell you that in the past three years, it just like blossomed. Like there's so many new channels coming constantly in. So the amount of information, it's like. It's like multiplies. So you don't know where are you going to stand on collecting and what is, how you're going to feel about collecting because maybe today you feel, I will never ever sell this baby. This is my dream baby. And it will change, I can guarantee you. 90% of time, people change their opinions because you know, uh, you get deeper and deeper and you will start doing your research and you will see all these new sculpts and who has unlimited funds? You will kind of uh, find that it's easier <clears throat> to kind of like rotate your collection, maybe to sell, uh, to buy sometimes. Uh, also, not everybody has a nursery, so a lot of people are limited with space. And if you want to experience new dolls, you will have to move, to, as they say, merchandise around. You will have to move your collection around. And sometimes, unfortunately, we do have to sell. So or something happens or whatever ladies. So that's just something that I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> um, so uh, I don't know if this is going to be completely crazy video and if I made any sense. <clears throat> my conclusion on this or how I feel is, oh my gosh, and I still haven't changed my doll, my baby, my uh, Danielle, so let me change him. So what I would do, I would probably as a buyer and as a collector, I would most definitely pay for that COA because I would want my doll to come home with COA. And I don't know, I ha I was looking at that um, thread. I don't know if um, there was any conclusion if she... I need to go back because this uh, as of this morning, there was um, still no new replies so i don't know how she decided but i will probably visit revisit that conversation and i may even ask her like how she decided to proceed as 
with that baby if she decided to get she was quite adamant and um it seemed to me like the buyer already decided not to pay more and not to get COA with her doll. She said she was unlimited budget and the price worked for her and she felt like, yeah, okay. Uh, the only thing I would ask her, why uh, was she a little bit upset about seller not sending the COA if it's not important to her you know what i mean ladies so you know if you don't care i wouldn't even ask i wouldn't even uh, uh waste my time i would be like okay i don't care about coa obviously since i decided not to pay for it so i don't know <clears throat> if she kind of if this poster, if she was looking for people just to tell her, yeah, you should get the COA uh, without paying the original asking price and not the discounted price. Or I don't know. I, I really want to know. And this is not me judging either buyer or the seller. I just wanted you, uh, I wanted you to hear this story and uh, for, I wanted to ask about your opinion. How important is COA to you not um, only because of this story and you don't have to tell me oh my gosh I would do this or this because it's ultimately it's not uh like we can do anything it's uh between the seller and the buyer but it kind of like inspired me to talk about COAs and how to see how important they are to each collector so yeah that's, as I said, uh, I really think that COAs are important for me, to me. Uh, would I buy a baby without COA if I completely loved it? And I was certain that it was not the kid that was uh, reproduced. You know, it wasn't a replica or nothing like that. If I, I have, I don't know, ladies. I haven't been in that position. I don't want to say I wouldn't, I would never do it because, you know, usually it's like putting the food into your mouth. And then the next week with Murphy's Law, I would probably see a baby for amazing price and I would be like, oh my gosh, but it, would I buy it if it didn't have COA? I have no idea, ladies. So I'm not going to say I would absolutely not do it if I was positive that it was not the fake kit and not all the babies, ladies. Also, I want to make sure that you understand not all the dolls without COA are fakes and not uh, in all instances, people are even suggesting it could be a fake because I'm telling you in five years, I have seen even artists displacing COAs, which is a sad reality, but it is what it is and it happens. So, you know, the, that the doll, when the doll doesn't have COA doesn't necessarily mean it's fake but it does bring the value down. And I, I think that 25 pounds or $25 is well worth it if you want to, is well worth for uh, sold out limited editions or so, if you have a rare doll and you have the opportunity like that, like to have a, uh, to buy it with or without COA, I would not even go into that guys, okay? I would not even offer my doll with or without. I would just send the COA and that's it. But that's a story for another day. But I do think that it's worth it just to have COA, especially these days when everything is being replicated, uh, uh, these counterfeit uh, uh, factories that are making these dolls and all that. It, it's been a mess, ladies. So definitely, I would tell this buyer, yes, definitely, it's worth it. Try to find those 25 pounds or dollars and just just pay it and get your baby with certificate anyways ladies i have been blabbering here for a long time so here is danielle hopefully you like his little outfit i think it fits him beautifully it's uh i think this is zara and it's one zero to one month 
and it's beautiful that that little Danielle so yes uh ladies and gents I want to thank you for being here I'm I would truly, truly appreciate if you would share your opinions on this topic with me. I may go live next week and discuss it into more depth, but I want to thank you again for being here. I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your Saturday and hopefully Charlie and the babies and myself, we will see you tomorrow. Bye!